Are you constantly feeling stressed and overwhelmed in your day-to-day -day life? Do you wish you could find inner peace and relaxation amidst the chaos? Lesson 1. Identify a small skill you have great success in. Discovering a modest skill that you shine at is one of the first steps toward relaxing. Finding your right livelihood, or right action, is a term used frequently in Buddhism. It involves realizing your special abilities and capabilities, no matter how minor or unimportant they may appear, and putting them to use in a way that makes you happy and fulfilled. The Buddha said that we feel profound happiness and fulfillment when we do things that are in line with our actual nature. This does not imply that you must achieve excellence in all spheres of your life, or that you must be flawless at everything. Rather, it's about finding that one thing you're good at, something that makes you happy and at peace, and letting it become a source of joy and relaxation. You may have aptitude in writing, cooking, gardening, or even just listening. Whatever it is, dedicate some time to doing this every day. When you concentrate on something you're naturally skilled at, you give yourself permission to go into a state of flow, in which your mind is totally absorbed in the work at hand. This flow state is incredibly soothing and aids in stilling the mind's incessant chatter. This idea is intimately associated with mindfulness practice in Buddhism. Being totally present in the moment without distraction or judgment is the skill of mindfulness. Being attentive comes easily to you when you're doing something you enjoy. You're totally engaged in the present moment rather than worrying about the future or thinking back on the past. An inner calm and sense of relaxation follow from this attentiveness. Discovering your strengths can also help you become more self-assured and confident. Your perception of yourself improves when you concentrate on your advantages. This change in viewpoint can significantly improve your general well-being and make it simpler for you to de-stress and unwind. Recall that finding something tiny is crucial. It doesn't have to be a significant or transformative undertaking. When completed intentionally and attentively, even the tiniest jobs can become potent sources of joy and relaxation. Spend some time thinking about your advantages and identifying the one tiny area in which you excel. After then, develop the habit of doing this on a daily basis. You'll be shocked at how much it can improve your everyday mood and help you unwind. Lesson 2. Practice frequently and adhere to your beliefs. Adhering to and consistently practicing your beliefs is the second habit that might aid in relaxation. This is referred to in Buddhism as cultivating right effort and right intention, which is essentially living in accordance with your moral principles and consciously putting them into practice on a daily basis. Living a life that is loyal to your principles is one of the primary lessons of Buddhism. Living in line with your convictions brings you a profound sense of contentment and inner serenity. As a result, you become more relaxed and experience less tension and anxiety. It is not enough to only have particular ideals or views. You also need to put them into daily practice. This entails putting forth a deliberate effort to live your values every day. The process of exercising your beliefs, whether it be through mindfulness, meditation, acts of kindness, or just living a morally upright life, helps to solidify and integrate them into your daily existence. Make it a habit to show compassion in your dealings with other people, for instance, if you think it is important. Make time every day to meditate and engage in mindfulness exercises if you value mindfulness. Your beliefs will become more embedded in your everyday life the more you live by them, which will increase your sense of calm and relaxation. Buddhism holds that consistent practice is necessary for both spiritual development and overall well-being. It is not sufficient to merely comprehend the lessons theoretically. You also need to apply them. You provide a solid foundation for inner serenity and relaxation by doing this. You can give your life shape and stability by adhering to and consistently applying your values. You may more easily release tension and worry when you have this framework to assist you stay anchored in the here and now. It's also critical to keep in mind that practicing need not be flawless. Buddhism holds that enlightenment is a journey rather than a destination. There will be moments when you can find it difficult to keep up your practice. This is a normal step in the procedure. The secret is to stay dedicated to your work 
and to approach it with empathy and patience. Lesson 3. Conclude your day positively. Gratitude is one of the best things you can do to conclude the day. Having gratitude in your life might help you unwind and feel good. By pausing to consider the good things that happened in your day, you can turn your attention from worry and tension to gratitude and contentment. Spend some time thinking back on the day and naming three things for which you are thankful before turning in for the night. These could be little things like a friend's encouraging words, a stunning sunset, or a delectable dinner. It is simpler to unwind and relax when you concentrate on the good parts of your day because you bring closure and tranquility to your thoughts. Letting go of any unfavorable feelings or thoughts is another crucial component of having a positive day's conclusion. This is referred to as letting go or non-attachment in Buddhism, where the Buddha taught that holding on to unfavorable feelings or ideas only causes suffering. You take unnecessary stress and anxiety out of your life by letting go of these attachments. Meditating is one method to practice letting go. Spend some time in meditation before bed, paying attention to your breath. Imagine that you are breathing in calmness and serenity as you take a breath. Imagine yourself letting go of any tension, stress, or unfavorable feelings as you exhale. With the aid of this easy exercise, you can let go of your anxieties for the day and prime your mind for a sound sleep. Buddhism asserts that your general state of well-being can be significantly impacted by how you conclude your day. When you wind down your day well, you create the conditions for a good night's sleep and a productive beginning to the next. Thus, give your existing bedtime routine some thought. Lesson 4. Monitor your performance every day. Maintaining a daily journal of your progress is an easy yet effective method of engaging in self-reflection. It enables you to recognize areas where you might need to make changes by helping you become more conscious of your routines, actions, and habits. Being more self-aware might help you unwind by increasing your sense of control and comprehension of your life. A further method to monitor your progress is to engage in mindfulness exercises all day long. Being totally present in the moment, without distraction or judgment, is the practice of mindfulness. You can increase your awareness of your feelings and your reaction to the things that happen in your day by focusing on your thoughts, feelings, and bodily sensations. Buddhism holds that developing one's spirituality requires self-reflection. By monitoring your progress on a regular basis, you may improve your self-awareness and make life-improving decisions. You can then unwind and lead a more tranquil and well-balanced life as a result of this. It's crucial to approach self-reflection with empathy and without passing judgment, to better understand yourself and your experiences rather than criticizing or passing judgment on yourself is the aim. You can relax and let go of stress by cultivating a sense of safety and acceptance through self-compassion practices. Make it a daily habit to monitor your progress Engaging in regular self-reflection, whether through journaling, mindfulness practices, or just pausing for a moment's thought, can aid in relaxation and promote a stronger sense of calm and clarity in your life. Lesson 5. Never be afraid to seek assistance when you need it. A lot of people find it difficult to ask for assistance. They could think that asking for assistance is a sign of weakness or that they must manage things on their own. But according to Buddhist philosophy, asking for assistance is a show of strength and wisdom. It's an admission of our interconnectedness and the fact that we may all gain from the advice and assistance of others. Asking for assistance when you're feeling anxious or overwhelmed can be a really effective method to de-stress and find relief. This support can take many different forms, such as reaching out to friends and family, asking a mentor for guidance, or being a part of a community that is encouraging. The important thing is to understand that you don't have to handle everything by yourself and that asking for help when you need it is acceptable. In Buddhism, the Buddha, the Dharma, the teachings, and the Sangha are regarded as the three jewels. The group of practitioners who aid and abet one another on the path to enlightenment is symbolized by the Sangha. You can find solace, direction, 
and inspiration in a network of support, which can reduce your tension and help you deal with life's obstacles more easily. It also takes humility and openness to ask for assistance. It entails admitting that you are not an expert on everything and that you can gain from the knowledge and expertise of others. This humility is a key component of Buddhist practice because it lowers ego and fosters compassion and a sense of oneness. You allow others to demonstrate kindness and compassion by asking for assistance. Giving is a highly esteemed practice in Buddhism and you provide room for others to practice this virtue by accepting their assistance. The ties of community are strengthened and a sense of connection and belonging is fostered by this reciprocal display of generosity and support. So don't be afraid to ask for assistance the next time you're feeling overwhelmed or upset. A great technique to unwind and achieve serenity is to ask for assistance. This can be done by contacting a friend, joining a support group, or requesting advice from a mentor. Remind yourself that you have help accessible to you whenever you need it and that you are not alone. Lesson 6. Give yourself some time to unwind and express your creativity. The Buddha taught that by striking a balance between effort and relaxation, we can establish a state of mental clarity and openness that allows our creativity to develop. In Buddhism, the practice of relaxation and creativity is strongly tied to the concepts of right effort and right concentration. Buddhism believes that resting is essential to our health rather than a luxury. Stress and anxiety can be lessened when we take the time to unwind and give our minds a chance to rest and regenerate. Additionally, relaxation opens up the mind to creative thought. Our thoughts are more accessible and responsive when we're at ease, which enables us to access our inner creativity and express ourselves in fresh and original ways. This creativity can be expressed in a variety of ways, such as through writing, music, art, or even just coming up with original answers to problems we face every day. Meditation is a useful tool for developing both creativity and relaxation. One of the most effective methods for quieting the mind and achieving inner peace is meditation. You may cultivate the mental clarity and attention required to access your creativity and allow it to shine by practicing meditation on a daily basis. Taking part in joyful and inspiring activities is another approach to foster creativity and relaxation. Spending time in nature, enjoying music, or taking up a creative activity are all examples of activities that support and nurture your mind and spirit and foster creativity. Buddhism also emphasizes the value of striking a balance between exertion and rest. The Buddha taught that enlightenment can only come from a combination of hard work and the capacity to let go and relax. You may cultivate a state of mental and emotional peace that fosters creativity by striking this balance. It's crucial to approach creativity and relaxation with curiosity and playfulness. Buddhism says that being creative is an expression of who we really are and that we can live happier, more fulfilled lives if we embrace creativity with an open and playful mind. You can infuse your life with inspiration and joy by fostering your creative spirit, which will facilitate relaxation and inner serenity. Lesson 7 be thankful for everything in your life and consider all the positive things. Practicing gratitude is an easy yet powerful habit that may change your life. You develop a sense of appreciation and contentment when you take the time to think back on the positive aspects of your life, which helps to offset any worries or difficulties you may be facing. Maintaining a gratitude notebook is one method to practice thankfulness. Spend a few minutes every day listing three things for which you are thankful. These can range in size from the beauty of a sunset to the assistance of a close friend or family member. Regular thankfulness practice helps you teach your mind to see the good things in your life, which lowers stress and promotes relaxation. Communicating thankfulness to other people is another approach to cultivate it. Give some thought to the individuals in your life who have encouraged and uplifted you. Expressing gratitude improves relationships and fosters a sense of connection and belonging, whether it be through a tiny act of kindness, a note of appreciation, or a nice remark. 
Buddhism says that being grateful involves realizing the interconnection of all beings, as well as the positive things in your life. The Buddha taught that all we experience is the outcome of innumerable causes and conditions, and that by realizing this interdependence, we might develop a more profound appreciation and feeling of thankfulness for every facet of our existence. Having gratitude also contributes to a feeling of plenty. Putting your attention on the good things in your life makes you realize that you have more than enough, which lessens emotions of scarcity or inadequate. This change in viewpoint can significantly improve your general well-being and make it simpler for you to unwind and locate calm. Also, it's critical to keep in mind that being grateful is a habit rather than an isolated instance. It demands consistent work and attention. Just like any habit, you can develop a long-lasting sense of contentment and serenity that will enable you to unwind and deal with life's obstacles more skillfully by practicing gratitude every day. Thus, set aside some time every day to reflect on all the blessings in your life and express gratitude. This practice can assist you in de-stressing and infusing your life with joy and tranquility, whether it is through journaling, thanking people, or just pausing to think. Following the timeless teachings of Buddhism, you can develop a deeper sense of calm and relaxation by implementing these seven habits into your daily routine. Recall that developing these habits will help you live a more purposeful and happy life, rather than just reducing stress. You can establish a stronger bond with both the outside world and yourself by recognizing what you're good at, being true to your principles, charting your progress, asking for assistance, unwinding and embracing your creativity, and practicing thankfulness. Buddhism says that finding inner calm and relaxation is a journey rather than a destination. It calls for perseverance, hard work, and an openness to trying out novel ways of being and thinking. By you can design a life that is joyful, peaceful, and relaxing by accepting these habits with an open heart and an inquiring mind. Thus, get going now. Start small by adding one of these routines to your everyday schedule and work your way up from there. You'll discover that these routines become second nature over time and that you can always find calm and relaxation, no matter what obstacles life throws at you. Recall that finding relaxation is a journey, and that every step you take will get you one step closer to living a life that is more content and serene.